Today, I'm at the waterfront. So what a great place to start down here at the waterfront. It is the Ark, such an impressive piece of engineering and it's definitely worth coming and having a look at. Now, if you want to know a bit more information, then click on the link above. Unfortunately for the Ark itself, it has been stuck here. It's lost a lot of money and it is just trying to get home. But as it is here, we might as well make the most of it. So it's looking like it's going to be a lovely day. Let's head to the bars and restaurants. So if you want a different option to drink, I'd definitely check out the Colt Bar. I'd say it's better than Isaac's in my opinion. It's a little bit more quirky, a little more, more different, and there's some great music. It's a uni bar, so it's a little bit cooler. I, you know, I fit right in, obviously. You get some great drinks, a few little samples of food as well, but that is all you need if you want to just a quick pint watching the boats go by. So the best place to stay here is definitely the Salt House Harbour Hotel. Great rooms with copper baths looking over the marina. Great food and drink options as well. Has gone downhill a little bit, but I'm only biased because I used to work there. But anyway. So if you're looking for that pub vibe, live music, Isaac's is the best place to go down here at the waterfront. Even got those domes to keep you warm in the winter. I wouldn't try the food to be honest, it's just pub grub standard, but for drinks with family and friends, it's the perfect place to come. So for me, just behind me is the Mariners. It is one of my top picks down here to eat. It's just a little bit more elegant than the Bistro, which is opposite. They are owned by the same people, but I think you just get a different experience on both of the restaurants. So that would be my pick if you had to choose from the both. I wonder what kind of sort of food do you do? Is it just breakfast or lunch? Or uh, we do breakfast brunch. So we do uh, uh, we do snacks. It's a Mediterranean uh, coffee shop orientated. The oh, world's uh, funny. Lovely sitting here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when the sun's out and the nice weather is out. Yeah, it's beautiful fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah, and you're sitting down really. To be honest. Take care. Thank you. It sounds really good. A really nice place down here, especially in the summer. Menu looks fantastic. On to the next one. So behind us we have the waterfront bistro. It doesn't quite have the outdoor space than the others, but inside is a very good eatery and it's perfect for those evening meals. So the last anchor just beside me is a very good eatery. It's got some great seating outside and it offers that quietness as well, being the other side of the water. Only negative is, is that further walk. So if you don't want to walk it, it is free parking if you're using the restaurant. Enjoy. Thank you. So just left last anchor, I treated myself with some breakfast. I got a croque monsieur and a coffee, and I have to say I was very disappointed in the croque monsieur. Really good friendly staff, great setting, but the food was a letdown. If you're gonna call it a croque monsieur, do it right. If not, not at all. Now, let's head to my favorite spot, the last of the day. So a couple of tips before we get to the last place. Number one is parking. There is free parking available on Patterson Road. There is only a few spots available, so you've got to be quick to get them. If not, there's two car parks both sides of the waterfront. But obviously they come as a cost. 
So tip number two, there is some cheaper options down here if you want a chain. You've got Pizza Express, Wiff Waff, Coffee Link. So there is a bargain to be had as well. Also, most of the restaurants down here do like happy hours or set menus. So my number one spot is Aurora. I love the energy of this place. Lots of windows to bring loads of light and you can get to see the whole marina here. They have some great cocktails on offer as well. They do happy hours so you can get a few little cheap bargains as well. Food is great too. Many dishes with modern twists and so much flavor. It's definitely worth trying out. So before I leave you, I'm gonna give you my three picks. Definitely Aurora, second off Mariners, and third, the grazing sheep. I know I haven't eaten there, but I definitely got good vibes about the place and I can't wait to try the food now if you haven't give it a big thumbs up and keep on subscribing and i'll see you on the next one